A ginger snapper ginger biscuit is a globally popular snack food. This spicy cookie gets a lot of its sweetness and color from molasses. The warm spice and crunch of my ginger snaps make them irresistible right down to the last morsel. Now let's see what we'll need to make them. First thing I want to do is light the oven because it has to come up to 375 and that will take a while, alright? So let's take a look at the ingredients that we're going to need. 3 quarters cup of butter softened to room temperature and I'm using a salted butter so I'm not going to add salt, alright? 1 cup of regular white sugar, a quarter cup of molasses and the trick to making sure that we're going to get the molasses out of the cup is to run some water in the cup first and then put the molasses in it. 1 egg, this is 2 cups of all-purpose flour, this is 6 teaspoons of grated or ground ginger. It's supposed to be 3 teaspoons guys but we like it hot so if you don't like heat go with 3 teaspoons alright. 2 teaspoons of baking soda, 1 teaspoon of cinnamon and we're supposed to have a teaspoon of cloves but I don't like the cloves in it because it reminds me of going to the dentist. So if you like cloves go ahead and put it in alright. Now if you're not using a salted butter add half a teaspoon of salt. So now let's get started. What we're going to have to do first, get all this dry stuff out the way because the first thing we're going to do is blend with our hand mixer the butter, the sugar and the molasses, alright? Let's see if my water trick worked. Yes, it's coming. this out the way. I want to go ahead and cream the butter and sugar just as if the molasses was not added to the mixture yet. So just let me take my time with my hand mixer. I have it on medium and I'm just blending while scraping down my bowl with the spatula. So it's already looking a lot like ginger snaps. The molasses is the thing that gets it dark. I used to think that it was brown sugar but it's the molasses. Because of the molasses, it's already looking and smelling like ginger snaps, right? Well, you can't smell it, but I can smell it for you. Let's get all our dry ingredients mixed together. The ginger, baking soda, cinnamon, this is where you would add your cloves and salt if you're doing all that. Oh, this bowl is a little bit too small, but we're going to be all right. Do a little bit at a time. Half and half. almost forgot my egg guys. That's why it's good to measure everything first so you can see it sitting on the counter. I'm so glad that I utilized all that I learned when I took home egg in Belize at Catherine's because that's where I learned to set everything out so that we don't forget any of the ingredients. Now let me go ahead and just blend so this egg can be well incorporated. and set all of this. The reason that I do this first with the wooden spoon is because I don't want the flour to go flying everywhere. So we'll grab two um, baking sheets, two big baking sheets and a bowl of regular white sugar while I'm doing this guys you go grab that and um, I'll show you what we do next once we get this batter to come together. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and clean off my beaters or the feet, like I call them. Get all the cookie dough out of it. We don't want to miss anything. I hate to waste good cookie dough. Just let me go ahead and get my spoon cleaned off too, my wooden spoon. Because guess what guys? Now it's time to get my hands in here, alright? My hands are clean, don't worry. And I have my baking sheets greased and ready to go. So I'm just going to make this into a ball 
and this is not going to be the type of cookie that we're going to set in the fridge we're just going to start using the dough immediately and I've always heard that you're supposed to roll this stuff like golf ball size but I don't really know what a golf ball looks like because I've never seen one in real life so I'm gonna say ping pong ball size all right honestly guys whatever size you make the cookie that's how big or small the cookie is gonna be so I'm rolling the balls in some regular white sugar and just placing them apart on my greased baking sheet I got rows of three on the first one three by four that's twelve and now I only have a little bit of the dough left so I'm just gonna do them two by two just set them apart they kinda look like tambran right put this one here oh let me roll it first in the sugar and then set it here now into the oven they go and the oven is up to temperature at 375 degrees Fahrenheit because these only need to go for about 15 minutes alright so let me set the timer 15 minutes now let's take a look at them let's see they're looking pretty good let me touch it now what I want to do is switch them around I'm gonna put whatever's on the top shelf on the second shelf and vice versa and a lot of people always ask me about this tray that's on the bottom row in my oven it's not there for anything other than when I put water in it when I'm doing baguettes just to create a steam oven when I'm doing baguettes right I just don't move it if I don't need to use the shelf let me give it two more minutes and now they're ready and let me get them out so these have to set don't mess around with them right away okay let them set I must admit that that was kind of hard for me to do to leave them alone but I did it's been 10 minutes so let me get them off of the tray onto the wire cooling rack I want to give Shanika a shout out Shanika was the one that gave me this wire cooling rack it's tackable by three tiers and I absolutely love it for when I do cookies or pota buns or anything that's flat so let me get them all off here they're looking pretty good right they look legit we got quite a bit right we got like 18 or 19 what I like about this um, cookie thing right here is that it's stackable so we can do this and then listen 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 Here goes my diet, you guys. Mm. I'm gonna send Joe in the shed out back to get me one of those pretty cookie tins. I got a bunch of them, and I'm gonna put these cookies in a tin and go give the neighbors. I can't be eating all of this. No, I can't. This is cookie week at the Bear Pantry Show. Every day of this week, I'm gonna bring a cookie to you guys. And I'm not even great at doing cookies but these are the ones that i know best and i'm good at these ones all right i'm gonna see you guys next video don't forget to like share follow leave me a comment did i say share already yes and subscribe if you're if you're seeing this on youtube subscribe say hello to my mom hi everybody this morning with one local family